Hi guys and welcome to another um, episode of Tennis on your favorite platform, Fauzan Sports. And um, in this special ed episode, um, the news is that um, Emma Raducanu has played with her coach, Andrew Richardson. Yeah, it's no more the coach of Emma Raducanu. And uh, I would like to look at that. Um, though she gave some, of, some reasons. Anyway, before I start the analysis, um, if it happens to be your first time of joining me, Please do well to hit the subscribe button. It's free. Touch the notification bell. Share the program to as many viewers as possible. Smash the like button if you enjoy the presentation. And then comment to agree or disagree with my analysis in the comment box down below. Down below, yeah. Uh, yeah, the news is um, that some, a few hours ago, Emma Raducanu just split with her coach and it's no more, Andrew Richardson is no more the coach of Emma Raducanu. And um, I'm quoting some um, sources um, that I chanced upon um, uh, to give further explanation. But um, in a nutshell, I will look at that, the source anymore later. But the issue is um, Emma Raducanu's um, a quick rise from uh, the 300th rank, 300th uh, seed to 150th seed after the win building. And now from 150th to the 22nd seed, she's um, setting that she needs to move to another level and will be competing at the highest level and be winning trophies. So meaning what it means is um, if she wants to maintain the current level, no disrespect to Andy Richardson. But she thinks um, Andy Richardson um, has not gotten the necessary experience to take care that far. Though she uh, appreciates the level of work is done um, uh, at, uh, at, her, at her end, she, she appreciates the level of work is done over, over the a couple of months he's been with her. And, but she wants to take the game and can sustain her best at the highest level. And so she will want to get an experienced coach. Though no experienced coach has been mentioned as at now, but um, she, will be, she said she will take her time carefully to be on the lookout for a better coach who to take, take her to the next level, to be competing at the highest level. She doesn't want to descend, just like, you know, most of these um, female tennis players, as I keep on saying on my uh, episodes regarding female singles tennis competition, when they win, they drop down. So Emma Raducanu doesn't want to suffer the same feat of uh, Naomi Osaka, uh, Sloan Stevens, um, Simona Halep, Ashley Barty, in some cases, though Ashley Barty has been consistent, that's why she's number one. You know, Priyanka Andresko, Inga Schwantek, controversial Inga Schwantek, yeah. So, so many of them, when they win the trophy, then they decide, they go low, they descend low. That is what, what she uh, doesn't want to be, uh, suffer the same fate and we want to sustain her highest uh, level of career success. Yeah, let me go to the source, um, Sky Sports Online, and uh, it says US Open champion, um, Emma Raducano, US Open champion, split from coach Andy Richardson. Yeah, I'm quoting some aspect of the um, a news uh, uh, online post there. With Emma Raducano, that's what I'm quoting here. I feel like at this stage in my career and playing the top players in the world, I realized I really need someone right now that has had that WTA tour experience at the highest, at the higher levels, which means that I'm looking for someone who has been at the, that level and knows what it takes. So you see, one of the, that's on quotes. So Richard, Richardson, let me read about that, that coach. Richardson previously coached the 18-year-old at Bromley Tennis Center and was chosen to accompany Raducanu on her U.S. trip because of their familiarity with one another. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, as the report indicates, he was chosen to accompany her, though his coach at uh, that uh, Bromley Tennis Center. Um, neither could have imagined where the partnership would lead. And despite the remarkable success it brought, Raducanu has decided she needs a coach with a WTA tour pedigree. Yeah, as I told you. Speaking after a homecoming event held by the Lawn Tennis Association at the National Tennis Center, the teenager said, and I quote, where I saw, where I was at after Wimbledon, I was ranked around 200 in the world. And at the time, I thought I, Andrew will be a great coach to try out. So we went to the States, but never did I even dream of winning the US Open. And having the run I did, and now I'm ranked 22nd in the world, which is pretty crazy to me. Yeah, I think Emma Raducanu is still, uh, has still not come to terms with the fact that she's a champion. Still surprises her. 
Raducanu continued, uh, uh, unquote, Raducanu continued, and I quote, and I quote, I feel like at this stage in my career and playing the top players in the world, I realize I need someone, as I said already, so let's skip that. And especially right now, because I'm so new to it. You see, she said she's so new to it. I really need someone to guide me who's already been through that. Yeah. So she's quoting her inexperience associated with winning the Grand Slam. And so she wants someone who is experienced. Mind you, Raducano uh, is not experienced so many. Of course, she's a teenager. And uh, not surprising that she said you know, her, more, her money is, is with her parents, of course. <laughs> you, know, you guys will say, why is uh, Fauzi talking about the money, money? It's with the parents. So don't worry, never mind about the money. Uh, Raducano added that she does not yet have anyone in mind, although she's likely to have noted the news that renowned coach Darren Cahill is now free agent after he split from Simona Halep. Darren Cahill is no more with Simona Halep, you see. And as you, I said, um, uh, she's from him with interest. And she does not expect to make any decision until the end of the season. Yeah. So some kind of that's uh, what she's picturing now, but um, has not finalized it. A willingness to work with a number of different coaches has already been a notable feature of Raducanu's fledging career. And she has shown no hesitation in ending a partnership if she feels that is the right move. Quickly parting from Nigel Sears after win building. Yeah. On her conversation with Richardson, she obviously she said, and I quote, obviously having such an experience with your team is tough to have that conversation with anyone. But I think for me, it's just really what I need, unquote. Raducanu is now back in training and is mauling uh, over where to return to the tour with the BMB Paribas Open in Indian Wells, one of the biggest events on the WTA tour due to begin on October 6. On October 6, she said, and I quote, I will decide in the next few days where I'm going to go to, but wherever I play next, I'm going to make sure I'm ready. I don't want to jump into things too early, unquote. So uh, that's uh, how you see it from that source. So you see, and um, let's hope it's not something, uh, so there are some other reasons uh, that resulted in her splitting with the coach. Because why I'm saying let's hope there isn't any other reason is that why do you split with your coach if you haven't done your background check as to the one replacing him? Raducanu can be idle, you see. She can be idle because she needs a guidance on the court to aid her. I know she, her gym instructors are there and the fitness coaches are there, but still she needs someone uh, with the tennis know-how to guide her on the court. And she can tell us that um, she's not decided. I, I, I hope so. Now it's too early. Let's hope something is not underground there. I, and um, I, the way I see Andrew Richardson, I don't see him to be a quite controversial guy. Even during the U.S. tournament, he was sitting there quite quietly, calmly. You see, so it's not something from afar that, I, that someone I see to be controversial. Yeah, so let's hope and wish Emma Raducanu the best of luck. Uh, Any time she uh, comes out with a new coach, we, I promise you, we're going to inform you um, as quickly as possible. And please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is the best face-to-face um, -face tennis analysis uh, that you have on your screens. Yeah. The, oh, there are only a few of them. You know, uh, some, of them, some of them don't appear to face you as I'm doing. Right? This is uh, the most confident ten analytical tennis program that you have on YouTube. Yeah, there are, maybe possibly there are a few, but I've not seen that much with enthusiasm as we are doing on Fozan Sports. And so please tell a friend to tell a friend that we need more hands on board, as I told you, to boost the algorithm of the channel. And um, I appreciate... Um, so far, those who have come on board to be part of the community. And I thank you very much for giving me the support and hope, as, as Oliver Twist, we're still asking for more. Yeah, we want more subscribers, more subscribers and more, um, more views and more shares. Um, please agree to disagree with me in the comment box down below. Thank you very much. Cheers. I love you all. Stay safe wherever you are. Bye-bye.